Hey guys, welcome to my JavaScript tutorials. Uh, this is going to be my first one. Uh, glad I can make these uh, JavaScript tutorials for you guys and uh, hope you check out my other tutorials as well. Alright, so JavaScript. What it is, it's the most popular scripting language like, most used on the internet nowadays. Um, you, the most used browsers, that, the major browsers that use it are usually Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, and uh, I don't think anyone uses this but Opera um, but usually before we start uh, scripting in JavaScript you're gonna need to know HTML or a a X HTML there we go uh, you need to have a basic understanding of that and how to do it so if you haven't if you don't know what HTML is I should just go looking at my HTML tutorials uh, so that way you can get a pretty good idea of what HTML is that way we can that way you can go ahead and watch these JavaScript tutorials uh, so JavaScript, um, it's usually it's designed to ha uh, add inter interactivity in dang, interactivity to the HTML web page. So what that means is just makes it so it's interactive and all that. And it's uh, as like I said, it's a scripting language. It's uh, it's one of the most lightweight pro programming languages, and it's usually usually embedded into the HTML. Uh, it's uh, JavaScript is an interpreted language, which means that scripts execute without preliminary com com compilation. Um, basically, means that they can be executed without uh, having to be told so and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, and everyone can use JavaScript. You don't need a license or anything. And so, uh, you might. Be, some people have asked me, are Java and JavaScript the same? No, they're not. Java and JavaScript are two different things, uh, but in both com in, and they're both different in concept and design. Java, which is developed by Sun Microsystems, is a powerful and much more complex programming language. Um, so after a few tutorials, after a few uh, things with tutorials and and uh, stuff like that, I'm probably gonna do Java as well. But and it's also in the same category as C and C++. Uh, and JavaScript it also lets HTML designers it gives them a, a programming tool. Uh, and JavaScript can be put can put dyna dynamic text into an HTML page, and also it can react to events. Uh, if you don't know what events are, please check out my HTML tutorials. But uh. Basically, uh, it can read and write HTML elements, uh, and I'll go ahead and tell you what events, the, the, what JavaScript can do with events. Uh, JavaScript can be set to execute when something happens, like when a page is finished loading or when a user clicks on an HTML element. So that's what it does. Uh, JavaScript can also validate data. It can also detect the visitor's web browser and uh, create cookies and all that stuff. And uh, I'm just going to give you a little history lesson on JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript's official name was ECMA Script. Uh, it was maintained by e the ECMA organization. Uh, ECMA 262 is the official script lang JavaScript standard. Uh, it's, the, it's what it was officially called, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what it mean, what it was. ECMA-262. That's what it originally was. That's what it was. Uh, ECMA script was developed and maintained by ECMA organization. Uh, the, e the development of ECMA 262 was started in 19 around 1960 1996, and the first edition was adopted by General Assembly uh, in either June or July of 1997. I can't remember which one. Uh, the standard was approved of uh, the ISO. As an international ISO, so it it looks like this ISO, uh, and the standard was ISO or I E C uh, sixteen two six two. That was its uh, international ISO in nineteen ninety eight, and the development of the standard is still in progress. So. This is a basic intro to JavaScript, and watch out for my next tutorials on how to basically we'll get started on writing some on scripting and all that stuff. So, hope you enjoyed this introduction and a little history lesson on JavaScript, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.